There are so many highlights of the Botanic Gardens. I think everyone has a favourite part. For me, I think, Joe, the arid garden's just beautiful. Oh, it is. I love the fern garden yeah. myself. But do you know what, Jack? I cannot keep a plant alive. <laughs> so I love coming to a garden where it's done for me. Totally. And you can just imagine the teams of people behind the scenes creating these beautiful spaces, including landscape architect Andrew Laidlaw, who joins us now. Hi, Andrew. Hi. You know, I love, I said, the Fern Garden. Which is your favourite space here in the gardens? Well, the Fern Gully is uh, a really fav favourite place of mine uh, and it's beautiful on a warm, hot day because the temperature drops uh, by about six degrees, but I'd actually probably feel the children's garden is my favourite space. We both love yeah. the children's garden. But one thing that's amazing about the Botanic Gardens is the little themes that we have running throughout. So how do you, as a landscape gardener or architect, create a theme? Good question, because there is a broader theme here, which is about the original design of this garden, which was done in the 1870s by William Guilfoyle. And that's where he created this picturesque garden, which is a garden to look like an English garden. Uh, so we try not to mess with that too much. And then I get this opportunity to design gardens within a garden. Uh, and then the theme comes about through really a range of things. But what we're mainly trying to do in the last probably 20 years is make it more an immersive experience. So things like the sensory garden, the children's garden, the Fern Gully allows people to go in and sit in the garden rather than just walking around. So, so that's kind of been the broader theme. So how difficult is it to create one of these gardens as opposed to, say, a domestic garden, our backyards? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Different scale. So uh, you might plant, you know, I'm always sort of saying don't ever plant one of anything uh -huh. except a tree. So you're always planting in groups of, say, threes and fives. We come here, the scale is, you know, this big. So I'm planting in groups of 15 and 20s and, and they laugh here a little bit because I always plant in odd numbers but big numbers, and you've just got to imagine that you're looking at something in, in, in a much larger scale, so it's just, everything's bigger. Other than that, exactly the same <laughs> as my backyard. I was going to say, how does your garden look? <laughs> well, the most important thing is, which is the same, is just to wrap it in plants. You know, make sure it's got a lot more plants in it than it does hard surfaces. Well, you know, at House of Wellness, we're really passionate about the difference that green spaces make to our health and well-being and mental health. Do you have a comment on that? Yes, absolutely. And, you know, I, I know, and the science now backs it up, that just 40 seconds of green every day for someone just changes their life. And we understand, and the shift that we're making in here is to create more immersive experiences where people can actually come and sit and be surrounded by those amazing things, plants, which are largely invisible to a lot of people, believe it or not, but they emit all this incredibly important energy and, and stuff that just makes us feel a lot better. I would 100% agree with that. Yes. And what about getting your hands dirty, Andrew? What's your advice to people who are thinking about maybe gardening a bit more? And also for yourself, are you out here every day actually planting? Yep. I'm out here most days. Uh, but that's where our home gardens are so important, to actually get in and get your hands dirty and, and co-create something, you know, create something with nature that's quite beautiful. So, you know, that is incredibly good for our health. Well, I believe this space is one of the great treasures of Melbourne. It must give you such a buzz to know the joy that it brings. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, just turning up to this place every day is a, is a privilege and a thrill for me. So, and to see people in here, like after COVID, you could not move in here. It was just, it's the heart and lungs of, of Melbourne. What an office. I'm very yes. jealous, Joe. <laughs> Andrew, it's been so lovely to talk to you. Thank you. Thanks very much.